This is a crazy apartment. It's a little house. You can see a water tower, and we're between two of the tallest buildings in the city. Does anyone know this apartment's here? No one knows it's here, only you and I and the doorman. It's just that the bathroom is a little bit tight. Here we are in Manhattan, Midtown West. Today we're looking at apartments just a couple of blocks north of Times Square near the Late Show. This is a very convenient part of town. Lots of subway transit. There's an army of city bikes, which no one wants to use today. And of course, there's always cabs. We're also half a block from this other station. You can get pretty much anywhere if this is where you live. I haven't seen a line like that at a donut shop ever in New York City. That's crazy. Now I've eaten these and they are amazing and life changing. And I don't know how it's possible, but through the glass, you can smell the sugar. So you're definitely gonna wind up in there. The only problem is these donuts are incredibly expensive, but you know what's cheaper than a donut? Times Square Church, it's across the street. In fact, it is free. Now this neighborhood's technically part of the theater district, and that might be why there's restaurants everywhere. But the great news is that since all this stuff is around the corner from the apartment, you can just walk outside and find something to do. If you want some really good cheap breakfast, the Cosmic Diner, it is out of this world. It's actually pretty good. I don't know how 7-Eleven stays in business. Their prices are like below what inflation was five years ago. Then we got a bowl place, the Soul Bowl, the Salmon Bowl, another Salmon Bowl, a Shrimp Chicken Bowl. Oh, that one's my favorite. Then we have P.F. Chang's to go. And to commemorate your time in today's apartment, you can buy yourself an I Love New York t-shirt from this gift shop, an I Love New York hat, a blue frog, a green frog, or even a dog bandana. Those are some tempting options. Nothing like a good bowl of ramen on a cold day. This is usually what I get, nice and spicy. There's also some sort of flower store over here. I guess that's here. Looks like it's been here since the dawn of time. And there's an improv theater. If you go there, your jokes will be as terrible as mine. Right over here, long line, looks like a local bagel place. Must be good, people are eating outside and it started raining. For local coffee, we got ourselves a blank street, Cucina Italiana, and we're next to an actual full-size real supermarket. They have shopping carts. It's not a bodega. And you can even ride one of the horse-drawn carriages over to Central Park. Now, if there's too much GMO at Gristini's for you, you'll be happy that across the street there's a natural market. And look, they got some stuff that will calm you down according to the label. Whether it's nighttime or daytime, they will mellow you out, man. Whoa, and there's even a little Chick-fil-A. First apartment's just over here. McGee's. Sounds Italian. The flag's just a little bit faded. That's why it looks orange. It's not. Hey, yo, what's up? Whoa. What are we looking at today? We are looking at a two bedroom and a one bedroom in this building. Thank you. Look at that, you can see it moving. This way? Yes. Oh, it's big. Nice place. It is. The rent is, we don't know, because it hasn't hit the market. Oh yeah. In your experience, what does a one bedroom in this building go for? Usually 35 to 41. And this has a backyard. Which is rare. He's right, there's only one other apartment in this building that has any outdoor space. And we were there like six months ago. This is 17 by 13. You know, Cash? This bedroom can be the size of a studio. We have all of this. Now the other apartments we're gonna see in here, they're gonna have big rooms too, and we're gonna know the prices. But even if this is the most expensive one, this is still really large for Manhattan Midtown. Okay, this view might not be for everybody, but it is really quiet. And that's actually our kitchen right over there. And this isn't a street view, so we're not getting any noise. This is your heater. You got lots of outlets. And we've got two big closets. 
Nice and deep, but look at these crazy pipes. This probably used to be like a, maybe like a commercial building or something. Like just look at the outlets. They have uh, conduit piping and the ceilings here have all these beams and details in them. Anyways, in this room, you've got 16 places to put a king size bed and there's room for dressers plus a home office. But some of you will hate the bathroom location. But anyways, this bathroom, there's a lot to like about it. It's just connected to the bedroom, which not everybody's into. Big tub, sinks purdy, got your storage up here, vanity lights. There's a heater, towel rack, rotating towel hooks, good water pressure. And even though this place isn't painted, it's super clean everywhere. And look at this, full length mirror on the door right there. I've shown apartments to people who just didn't want the bathroom and the bedroom to be next to each other. I don't, am I missing something? The rest of the layout here is awesome. We got a big coat closet. This is the foyer slash dining area. That's such a good idea. Put a dining table in here, it's big enough. A small table right over here by this window. Or if you don't make it a dining area, you can put a home office. Or a gallery. A gallery. Just Big kitchen. And everything's lined up really tastefully. Look at this massive oven with the microwave. It's very pleasing to look at. Big sink with a window above it. Water pressure solid. Sink sprayer. But there might be too many cabinets. Is this really necessary? Look at all this. It's kind of overwhelming. But it's perfect for clothes that don't fit in your dresser. And that you're okay with smelling like bacon. They didn't forget the dishwasher either. One, two, three, four outlets. Plenty of room for appliances to clutter up your counter. Does the building have laundry? It does. 16 by 13 and a half. Amazing space. Above average living room, below average. Wow, what are you kidding me? Fireplace also really gives it some character. It has medieval knights going into battle. You can hang Christmas stockings or make it a shrine. But I think most people are just gonna put their TV right here. Four outlets, four screw holes, that's where it goes. You're gonna wanna keep this area by the door clear. Now the door itself, it opens out, it doesn't open in. So just put a mat, then you can have storage, couch, and if you want a bigger dining table, there is more than enough room along the wall. What do you think was going on out here in the past? Look, there's part of a birch tree and there's like flowers hanging off these vents under the barbed wire. There's no way back here. Like that's no man's land. Maybe it was a frat house, but you don't have to make this a frat house. You could just make it your own private little hangout as long as your definition of privacy includes all of these windows. But come on, let's be real. They don't have a great view of you. And the windows over here are so dusty. Whoever works in here can't see anything. And you could also get yourself a little umbrella tent because this is big and there's a power outlet and that door leads to the living room. We didn't have to walk out on some weird staircase or climb some twirly thing. So if you want to have a table with food that came from the kitchen, that's gonna be easy. And if you're worried about safety, it locks. And check this out, it stopped raining. Look at that, we got some natural sunlight in this little living room. And look, the bedroom became sunny all of a sudden. Can't believe how actually bright it is down here. Man, the next apartment is gonna be really sunny. You know how superstitious people say they don't want to move on the 13th floor or the 14th floor? Yeah. Because it's technically the 13th floor. We actually have a 13th floor here. The is 13 right oh, here. Oh yeah, there it is. So if you're superstitious. Yeah, a lot of people say, oh, I don't want to go to 14 because it's 13. Mm. This is technically 14. I need your help. You know what? Oh, I got it. I got it. There. Oh, that was scary. I was trying to point the camera down the shaft way. That is such a cool New York view out that window. In fact, we've got triple exposure here. North, south, 
and that window faces west. And that's good because right now there's no power. The last renter just moved out and the landlord is painting and cleaning. The power company can turn it back on remotely when a new person signs and lease, which will be after it's cleaned up. And what's crazy is this massive place is 6,200. There's two bedrooms and we have two bathrooms. This living room is also 19 by 19 and a half. And I also got the price for 2D. How much is that first place? 4250, my friend. 4250, so this is an extra $2,000 and it becomes a two bedroom. Why is everything here so cheap? What's also insane is that we have a real working fireplace here. You can see the evidence of previous fires and the evidence of the materials needed to make future fires. Look at this, we got ourselves a nice little fire poker right here. You can also fend off robbers like a ninja. Now, as you can see, we're just two floors below the penthouse. And even though this massive place doesn't cost as much as a penthouse, there's a solid chance this place is so big you'll be broke after you buy all the Ikea furniture in the world to fill it up. This is the rest of the apartment. We've got another gorgeous long foyer. Grab sunglasses. Whoever lived here before was cool because they wore sunglasses. Beautiful bedroom, love the ceilings. And this is 12.5 by 14.8. I would definitely put the bed over here and I have all this nice empty space for a dresser. Then you can mount your TV right there. That's exactly what the last person did. Closet here is also really good. It goes pretty far back. That's deep. And this bedroom has its own full bath. Decent sink, same mirrors. Well, look, there's like a little false window which you can use for soap. There's another one here in the shower. Standing shower, not a tub. I think it's fine, unless you're a bath person. That's the bedroom. And before we check out the second bedroom, right next to the kitchen, we have a massive walk-in closet, which is like the size of my storage room in Brooklyn. I guess it could also be like a third bedroom. But wait, there's more. On the other side of the storage closet, we have this. Look at that, it's like a little broom closet just built into the wall. This bedroom is 12 by 10 and a half. Very sunny, love the view. It's a shaft wave view, but you can see stuff. Bed in the corner, dressers over here, and you could probably fit even more stuff over here by the windows. This is a big room. Free AC. And look at all the shelving in this closet. That's gonna be so useful. And even though this room's a little smaller than the other one, it has the full-size tub. So if you wanna take a bath like me right now, this should be your room. We've also got a really large window and everything else here looks pretty standard. And of course, this big place keeps on getting bigger. Look, the kitchen's by itself in its own little sequestered room. Water's kind of weak. Oh, no. I don't think so. Big oven, lots of cabinets. You ready for one more? Always. Sweet. All right, great apartment, fantastic. It's just a little dark in here because people just moved out of this one too. What is it? What is the rent? The rent is forty three seventy five. And what you mean by dark? <laughs> How big is this bedroom? I believe I measured it. It's twenty by fourteen. And I think this place has the best closets out of any of these apartments. You've got two sets. Sliding door design on these as well. And again, any size bed you want is gonna fit in here. The floors here are also a little bit darker than in the other apartments. They're like a stained wood. Kind of a bummer that the sun didn't know we were filming in here today, but it does get nice soft light. And the bathroom here is really nice. I actually think it's the nicest bathroom we've seen thus far. There's a fancier tile. All of them have the sliding glass door. This one has a tub as well. Look at that massive box door heater. It's not going to be cold in here in the winter time. The shape might be a little unique, but it is pretty big. Out in the hallway, we've got another massive closet. You can see the foyer's nice and big, and the kitchen here is absolutely solid. Plus, you've got the pass-through design that leads right over to the living room. This is going to be a great room to hang out, especially if you're having guests. You can have some tables lined up at the breakfast counter itself. The living room is big enough to have a couch and a standing table of its own, so if you want to have guests, if you want to entertain, I think this place would help you do just that. The second we leave the apartment, it becomes sunny. Let's get Charles up to 10,000 subscribers. Hey, that would be great. That would be wonderful. See you in the next Come video.